How's everybody doing? The channel is Let's Turn 2, and today we are bringing back the dollar packs of flagship tops. This time around we have 2023 Series 1. Did a video for this about a year ago with 2022 Series 1, and the biggest difference, other than it being a new year, is the price is now actually $1.25 per pack. So a 25% increase, which means at 5 cards to a pack, you're actually paying $0.25 cents per card. And the interesting thing with these packs, in case you've never opened them, on the back they give no pack odds. They don't even tell you to go to the Topps website to look for odds. And here, just to compare it, here is a dollar pack of Big League. If you haven't seen me open this, it was my last video. You can go back and check that video out. But at least on the back of these, it says, for approximate odds per pack, visit Topps.com. So that tells me, once again, we are going to get nothing but base cards, no inserts, no parallels, and no chances for a hit. Normally when I open uh, loose packs like this, I like to do my two stacks of two packs, but since these are only dollar packs or dollar twenty-five packs, we're going to double up and have two stacks of four packs, but we will still open two at a time. I picked these up at Family Dollar, but... I'm sure that's not an exclusive thing to to Family Dollar. You could probably find them at just about anywhere that offers, you know, dollar type of releases. Maybe even convenience stores or grocery stores. I don't know. But I can tell you for sure I did get these at Family Dollar. So we start with one of my giants here, Mike Yastrzemski. A couple of giants. Nice. Rookie card of Steel Walker. And I think I'm going to have to be pretty lenient with the on-deck circle for the video's best catch. So, because I'm not expecting, uh, you know, again, any parallels or anything. So, I think we're going to have to put our rookies aside. Ronald Acuna Jr. is pretty nice. Emmanuel Class A. Riley Green. Is that a... That's not a rookie card. It's just a Riley Green. And what is this? We got Mike Trout in the middle. There, so, you know, technically it is a Mike Trout card, so we'll put that one to the side. Next two packs. Let me know if you think this is a good deal. I I think just a little preview for the next video on the channel. I think we're going to do a little comparison. I don't know what amount it'll be, but I think I'll have a certain amount in mind. And we're going to go back and buy some more of those big league dollar packs and then have the same amount of these tops dollar packs and just kind of break it down on a per card cost what is actually the better deal if you were to go out with however much money and have these two offerings which one would you choose so we have another rookie here of Duran so we will put that one to the side Ryan Mountcastle hey Vaughn Grissom not really having an impact this year but still one of the better rookies to find Brandon Hughes. So at least we are finding some rookies, even if we're not going to to get anything else. You know, it would be nice if they would at least in these have the uh, the retail blue parallels, or you know, at least come up with something. You know, when back in the day when Don Russ was available at Dollar Tree, they at least made it interesting because you had the uh, Dollar Tree exclusive. What was it? Yellows, I believe. I mean, if they would at least make it, you know, something to these to make it a little bit more enticing, because otherwise you're just paying pretty much the same per card as you would be paying in any other format, but you've eliminated the chances of getting any hits. So, I don't know. I mean, I guess this would be nice just for kids to have something to open, or if you're just getting back into the hobby, you know, and you only want to spend, say, a few bucks or something just to sort some cards... You know, then, okay, I guess it has its place there, but, you know, in terms of finding anything really good, you're not going to find a whole lot other than maybe some base rookies. All right, here's our next rookie, Kate Cavalli. All right, so our last two packs. Hit that thumbs up, hit the subscribe if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. And, yeah, like I said, here... Later in the week, we will have a little comparison between Series 1 and Big League, these dollar pack showdowns. And actually, I just realized as I'm looking at my looking through my camera here that the showdown, we've got a Series 1 up here, and then we have Big League up there. 
that was not intentional, but that's kind of cool. So I will definitely have to leave the those two boxes up in the background as we square these two releases off in the next video. But the last two packs here, maybe let's try and get a Gunnar Henderson or an Adley Rushman rookie. That would be nice. Ethan Small rookie. Again, we're just putting the rookies aside, and I may have missed one, but who knows? Michael Massey rookie. All right, and we end with a C.J. Abrams Future Stars card. So pretty much what I expected, all base, but at least we got a pretty nice stack of rookie cards here, and you never know who the next big rookie could be. But I think for right now, even though I think he's still down in the minor leagues this year, I am going to give the best catch to Vaughn Grissom. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I will see you on the next one. Take care.